Since it's Schur's high school after yesterday's shooting left one CPS student in critical condition. And WGN's Jewel Hillary talked with some students about the mood inside the school. Joins us now live with more on that. Jewel. Hi, Ray and Micah. Well, thankfully, sure, students left school peacefully and without chaos this afternoon. However, in the aftermath of the shooting that happened right across the street from the school yesterday, some students that we talked to said the mood inside of the building was understandably very somber and that the halls were not as packed with students. Parents are scared that their kids are going to come here one day and not come back home. Sure, senior Kayla Lugo says Schur's is a good school that often gets a bad rep because of incidents like the shooting that happened across the street on Wednesday. That our school doesn't deserve that. The new principal doesn't deserve that. Just none of us deserve to feel this way. Around 2.45 Wednesday, a 15-year-old was rushed to Lurie Children's Hospital in critical condition after being shot in the face and neck outside of the La Michoacana across from Schur's High School. Three other teens were also hit by the onslaught of gunfire. And I tried to help him to stand them up. He couldn't stand up. When the shots rang out, Arturo Morales was waiting for two students to be dismissed. I was scared. My, personally, I was real scared, especially when I seen that kid bleeding from his neck. To help uplift students, Kayla and classmates were greeted with flowers and donuts Thursday morning. But students say the mood was still very somber. But the atmosphere at school was, was weird. It was, it was off, really off. Like nothing was right, everything was off. Everyone was a little bit gloomy. As police continue their investigation, Kayla says she's praying for those who were hurt. I'm hoping that they're doing better. Um, I just hate that they got caught in all of this. They really don't deserve that. Now we are told that two of the students who were shot are sure students and that one attends an alternative school. Also, to our knowledge, police have not made any arrests. Uh, when it comes to the school, we looked on the website and saw that uh, school leaders are planning a family town hall meeting for parents sometime on Friday. More details are expected to go out to families via email. For now, reporting live in Old Irving Park, I'm Jewel Hillary, WGN News. Thank you, Jewel. Another day of experience.